Hello and welcome to Tech Bike Parts. Today we're going to be showing you how to install our heavy duty sump guard, aluminium sump guard for these bikes. Uh, originally we didn't uh, think of, we were going to make one of these for this bike because Royal Enfield has one in their accessory range. And actually when we bought the bike we, we ordered one to come at the same time as the bike because we were going to install it. Um, we feel it's a good idea on these because it's got a very exposed oil filter at the front and with a short mud guard on the front it actually throws up a lot of muck on, on the underside of the engine. Um, the engine's very low on the frame on these as well so you could quite easily damage the sump on it as well. So anyway we ordered one up um, and we're a bit disappointed on the way that it has to be installed. Yes it's, a, it's quite a heavy duty looking thing but it's a bit short at the front and the biggest problem is the actual way it fits onto the bike. Um, the way they've designed the, the mountain brackets, you've, you've got to remove a lot of parts from the bike to actually fit it. You've got to take the full exhaust system off and you've got to loosen the uh, frame rail mountain bolts off and also the engine mountain bolts at the front, you've got to take those out to fit the, the front mountain on. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a sturdy bit of kit but for the time involved and the shortness at the front and lack of protection it gives the oil filter and the oil pipes at the front and also it doesn't have any sort of ventilation at the front to let air flow onto the motor uh, we thought we could do better and also it's only available in this silvery colour which just looks like it's a media blasted um, finish and then anodized, which is, is fair enough but a lot of people these days, particularly in Europe, want black we sell a lot more black sump guards than we do silver ones. We do both for, for the Triumph range. Uh, so we thought we'd, we'd do one in anodized black, which is just as durable as this, but blends in with the frame a bit more, and it just looks neater. And like I say, it's longer, and it has much, much easier fittings. You don't need to unbolt the exhaust system. You don't need to take any frame mounting bolts off. In fact, you don't need to actually take anything off the bike at all. Everything that's included in the kit bolts onto the bike and you don't have to take anything off so it's much quicker and easier to fit uh, and it's also much easier and quicker to get off when you want to change your oil filter but we'll uh, I'll jack the bike up now and we'll show you how that that happens so here's all the fittings you get in the kit uh, I'll, it's probably easier if I go through them all once we start fitting them uh, and this is the anodized sump guard as you can see it comes up and completely covers the oil filter but it still has holes below air to go through either side of the air filter, uh, the oil filter as well to help it to cool. Right, so I'll show you how you, you fit this on now. So first of all, we need to fit this rear mounting um, to the bike. Now this fits over the frame bolt. There's a, a large length of exposed thread on the rear frame mounting bolt on the left hand side. And this literally just fits over it. But before we do that, we need to loop this clip over the side on this side of the bike. I've already looped one on there, but I'll, I'll show you what, what it looks like. Now that needs to go over the frame and come around like that. So this is on the outside at the bottom of the, the clip. And then that mounts to this hole in the clip on the, the bracket here. So we mount the... You may have to slip this in at the back and slide it along. Uh, put it in at about this point just before the mountain at the back and then just slide it along let it mounts up with the bracket so we need to use the fine threaded M10 nut it, it, it's, it's a special thread actually and this mounts with the washer provided onto that exposed thread there like I say there's there's nothing to remove on the bike when we do this so it's it's a nice simple straightforward fit don't tighten it up just yet, just finger tight and then you, you move your clip along and you put the the M10 bolt nut and washer through this clamp it's a bit of a fiddle to pull the clip around once you've got it through it should stay there while you get the nut on it's difficult to film this without actually covering up what you're doing, but I'm trying to do my best here. So that's that. So you literally tighten this one up and 
you must tighten this one up before you go to the next stage because you can't actually get into it. So, using a 17mm spanner. Now if you find it's twisting, you may need to hold it with a pair of pliers or grips or something, just to stop it turning. And then you tighten your clamp, P-clamp bolt up. With a, a number two Phillips, the posi, sorry, and a 10 millimeter spanner. So once we've tightened these up, um, we need to uh, offer the, the mounting plate up under the, the bottom holes. Uh, what I forgot to mention is, that don't worry about ever marking the frame because it actually doesn't contact the frame at all at this end. It's only onto the, the heavy duty mounting bolt. And these clips are rubber lined, so this helps to stand off the bracket from the frame. And you've got rubber either side there as well. So there's, there's nothing going to mount your paintwork or cause any corrosion on your frame. So, we just offer the plate up and put the two nuts and bolts through. You don't want to be tight at this stage, just, just put the nuts on. Now you may find it easier if you get a block of wood or a jack or something just to hold this up while you're doing it. Normally the bolts will hold it just enough to, to get it in place. Now these holes are slotted so that you have got a little bit of leeway either side for fine adjustment. Oops. See, we don't need this tight at the moment, it only just wants to be held in place. Now, if you're changing your oil, once this is installed, all you need to do is loosen these bolts. You don't actually need to take them off because this is your oil drain here. And obviously you can get the oil filter when it's in this position here. Yes, you'll get, if you drain your oil on the side stand, it'll hit the air and run. And basically you just need to put a tray underneath here to catch it and then wipe any oil off here. It just saves you having to unbolt the thing. So literally all you've got to do is unbolt these two bolts at the front and loosen these. Much, much simpler than the, the Royal Enfield system. Okay, so we'll do the front mounting now. So next we take our front mounting plate. Now you'll notice it's actually slightly longer on one side than the other. The long side is the bottom and the short side is the top. So it goes on the frame like that. On the inside where it touches the frame, there's two actually anti-rub strips to stop it marking the paintwork and we have these clips that go behind the frame so you just need to loop those on behind and just leave them there for the moment on either side and we need to assemble this mounting onto the frame so if you take the two longer hex head bolts and you put these in from behind so there on the inside of the frame, this is the top. And then you put your two standoff spacers on. And then this bracket, so this is at the bottom, so this points upwards. And then you put your two serrated flange nuts on there. Now the reason we use these is it allows you, once the sump guard's on, to actually give some fine adjustment and be able to tighten it up just on the hexes from the outside. But more of that later. As you can see, they've got slotted holes on here, so again, you've got fine adjustment if you if you just need to move it around a bit. Got bolts, washers, standoff spacers, flange nuts, and then you we just tighten everything up finger tight there. So you've got your your spacer, uh, your anti-rub spacers on the inside, and basically that fits in the frame there like that, just above the oil filter. So I'll go around the other side so I'm not obstructing the view and I'll fit the bolts onto the P, onto the P clamps. It's slightly difficult going from this side because I'm doing it left handed for the camera but so you just get that started and then we do the other one. Just get that 
that's stored in the bracket there. So we just nip everything up there with your fingers, but don't tighten it up just yet. You can see it's fairly straightforward and there's no removing of anything at all there. Now you can get the, all these four bolt heads once the, the plate's on for fine adjustment. And what we basically do now is we just offer the, the sump guard up to it and pop your bolts in. Whiz those right up, but don't tighten them up just yet. Now, what you need to do is just tighten your two bolts up underneath that we've put in finger tight before. Again, not, you don't need to fully tighten them up, just to make sure they're sitting in the hole straight. And once you're happy with the position of everything and this is straight, you can tighten your two end bolts here, clamp bolts, so it clamps to the frame. Tight. See the, the peak clip, peak clips are plastic put coated and you've got these anti-rub strips on the front bracket here so you shouldn't put any marks on your frame whatsoever and then you just nip these two bolts up you can, because they've got the grip washers on the other side they shouldn't turn if they do you can actually get an open-ended spanner up here to do it to hold it but see, normally they, they just grip on the serrated flange like that. and just check everything's looking straight and tidy and then it's just a matter of tightening your two iron screws up and then with a 13 mil spanner and an iron key underneath tightening your the bottom two up. And that's it. About a 10 to 15 minute job. Um, spanners, basic spanners, um, you need a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter uh, and a, an Allen key for here. And I think basically you should have all those in the interceptor toolkit. So you may be able to do it without any tools at all, just the ones that are on the bike. Um, and it does look very neat, completely protects the um, oil filter. And you can see it actually comes up quite a lot higher than the original Royal Enfield one. So it gives good protection to the bottom of the engine here as well and the oil pipes. It also gives a lot of air to the bottom of the motor down the sides here and because it stands off from the frame rails a bit at the bottom gives good protection underneath to the frame rails on the sump. Okay thanks for watching if you've got any uh, further questions you can get me on email or give me a ring any midweek uh, day uh, 9.30 till 12. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.